Hello, my name is Felix Mejia and I'm a partner engineer here at Roku. Today I'll be giving a quick demonstration on how Instant Resume works. A little bit of an overview of what Instant Resume does. Instant Resume enables channels to save their current state upon exit and then continue playback upon re relaunch. This improves the user experience by letting viewers quickly get back to the content they were watching without having to find it first versus a channel without Instant Resume having to navigate and find the content themselves on a channel relaunch. Instant Resume is available starting on firmware 10.0, and today we'll be showing this on a Brian, which is a Roku Ultra, running on firmware 10.0. One of the channels that has implemented Instant Resume is Tubi, so we'll be going over how they implemented Instant Resume in their channel. So let's navigate and launch it. So let's see. Let me go launching Tubi. So one thing I want you to keep in mind is how long it's taking to uh, to be to load and we'll see soon how instant resume can speed this process up. So now the channel is launched and the main screen has content to navigate to. So a little bit of info before going into the demo. Um, Roku does provide some guidelines on how to best handle instant resume while the user suspends from a VOD state and a live playback state. In the VOD case, when the user relaunches the channel, they should go to the details screen of the previously watched content with an option to resume playback or start from the beginning. So let's run the VOD case now on Tubi. So let's navigate to what I was watching before, which was Transformers. And then we'll let it play up. So now the content is playing. And let's say, you know, a couple minutes go by and then I'm done watching this and I want to go to the home screen. So I hit home and now I'm going to go back to the Roku home screen. Um, let's say for the sake of this example that uh, maybe a few minutes later I get the urge to resume watching what I was seeing on Tubi. So let's go back there and we should be seeing a faster launch time when we go back to relaunching Tubi. So let's launch this. So now you see that the channel launched really quick and it took me to the details page of the previously watched content. Previously, this took way longer on the first channel start as it was trying to load everything from scratch essentially. So you could see the benefits here of Instant Resume for the VOD case. Now we wanna see live playback. So I'll navigate over to the live TV portion here. So let's back out here and then we'll do live TV. And then I want to watch live now on Fox. So let's play that. So now there's live playback. In the case of instant resume with live playback, we recommend on a channel relaunch to go directly into playback where it last left off. So let's see how Tubi implemented this. So say if uh, I'm done watching this again, and then I just want to go to the home screen, so I'm going to hit home. And now I'm back to the Roku home screen. But maybe another couple minutes later, and I kind of regret the decision, and I get the urge to rewatch what I was seeing on Tubi. So let's relaunch Tubi and see what the behavior is and how long it takes. So at this point, now I'm already loading into content and it launched really quick and now I'm in playback essentially. So you can see the benefits of having a good instant resume implementation for having a better user experience here. So this was just a little demo I wanted to show to see how instant resume works. Hope you all enjoy this. Thank you for watching and we hope to see more channels implementing instant resume soon.